all right it is tuesday the second day of the week and as i promised we continue Tuesdays as usual and uh, as promised today is video number two in the series of my one year advocacy on healthy kidneys or prevention of kidney disease and uh, i want to share with you another tip today uh, of course, if you're watching the videos and you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comment section and I will, I will respond to them. If you have clinical questions, I mean somebody is suffering from clear kidney disease or that sort of thing, I will only have to refer you to <laughs> my doctor or nephrologist for that matter. Uh -huh. But uh, questions that have to do with prevention of kidney disease and all that, I'll gladly respond to them. Okay, so today I want to share with you uh, another tip. I'm not in a very good mood because, uh, as usual, with this work, uh, sometimes we, we we lose some of the people that we're taking care of, and uh, uh, you know, something like that has just happened a few hours ago, and this is the reality. Okay. Kidney disease is too real. It's more common than you think. And when it happens, even those of us who talk about it feel very sad that something like that has happened because we know that largely if you do the right things, if you are checking, if you get to know on time, then your life can be saved. Let me put it that way. But if you do not check and you sit and watch and just be there and then one day you wake up and the doctor tells you that you have kidney disease and they tell you it has gotten to stage something, three, four, five, end stage, then I'm sorry that the chances of doctors saving your life become slim and it, it becomes very difficult and at that point too it becomes an issue of money because treatment of kidney disease is very expensive. Imagine you have to go on the dialysis machine um, three times a week. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it, all right? Or you need to go for a kidney transplant. So much money, thousands of US dollars, and you don't want to get there. That is why we do what we do. So as I mark my one year advocacy of kidney disease prevention, I have taken it upon myself to mark the one year by bringing you these steps each and every morning in the month of November as much as I can. Of course, in this month of November, we'll be marking the World Diabetes Day and it is important to us because diabetes is one of the major causes of kidney disease. Now, depending on where the research is being done and who is doing it, it might come up as number one cause of kidney disease or number two. All right, so that is how that that is how it is. <laughs> it is what it is. That is what it is. So today, that leads me to the tip I'm bringing you. I just want to mention some of the causes of kidney disease, and I'm mentioning two of them today. So one is uh, hypertension, and the second one, diabetes. These two things do cause kidney disease. So of all the other things that can cause kidney diseases, um, diabetes and hypertension are the two major, okay? So you want to prevent hypertension by doing a few things. Um, cut down on your salt intake because salt and hypertension are bedfellows, all right? That is why when anybody gets hypertension, uh, the doctors tell that person to cut down on salt. Do not wait. To get hypertension before doctors tell you cut down on salt. Mr. Ewa and chain and maunya adia your friend said pressure and sana water won't you so reduce your salt intake today and you would be to a very large extent preventing yourself from getting hypertension. And because the kidneys regulate blood pressure, uh, sometimes my director will tell you that it's like the chicken, the chicken and eggs story. We don't know which one came first. So if you have hypertension and it is not controlled, chances are that, yes, it can cause kidney disease. And when you have kidney disease also, 
it can lead you to have hypertension. So that is the way it is. So sometimes, you know, this one can cause this, this one too can cause that. That's how it is. And I mentioned diabetes. So yes, if you have diabetes too, and you just stay with it like that, nothing is done to fix that. It could also bring you kidney disease. So these two are what I want you to take away from me today. And hopefully I bring you some other tips uh, tomorrow. But like I keep saying, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will respond. So that is that. Stay well, stay safe, take good care of yourself. The body you have is a gift from God and it is your responsibility to take very good care of it. I'll see you.